Hi everybody. I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you. Tonight I'm going to read a story and you know me. I'm a cowgirl at heart. So I'm reading a story called Pecos Bill Invents the 10 Gallon Hat. It is by Kevin Stratus and it is illustrated by David Harrington. If you see my dog's heads in the way, I'm sorry, but they love it when I read books to them every night. Look at these great pictures, illustrations. Pegasus Bill invents the 10 gallon hat. Before Pegasus Bill, cowboys didn't know how to do much of anything. They didn't know how to rope cattle. They didn't know how to drive cattle, and they had no idea how to deal with the hot Texas sun. One day, Pecos Bill was working a herd near the Rio Grande, and the sun was hot enough to fry bacon on a boulder. Looking around, he saw that it was nice and shady under the cottonwood trees by the river, so he rode over to cool off under one. It was comfortable there. But that wasn't where the cattle were. That's okay, thought Bill. If the cattle want to stay on the prairie, I got a mind to move the tree. Uh -oh. He tied the rattlesnake rope around the biggest cottonwood on the river and said, Giddy up! to his horse. Now, no ordinary horse could move a tree like that, but Bill didn't have an ordinary horse. He had Light. A horse that packed more wallop than a prairie thunderstorm. The black stallion pulled and pulled and the roots, pop, jumped right out of the ground. But the, the tree fell thrump, burying 20 head of cattle in branches and leaves. Pegasus Bill had to spend the rest of the day digging those cows out. But Bill wasn't one to give up after just one try. Well, if I can't move the whole dang tree, maybe I can move the shady part, he thought. For a while, it worked fine. The trouble started when Bill got to town and tried to walk into a hotel. He opened the door and BAM! Fell right on his rear end. Pegasus Bill got up and ran at the door again, but BAM! He landed flat on his back. Then he realized why he didn't fit through the door. Crazy fool. But Pegasus wasn't one to, to be flumbuxed after just two tries. Two tries. The next day, he went walking through town. It was on a Saturday, and he got to the end of the main street. He saw a group of men playing some sort of newfangled ball game. I'm sure all of you don't know what that is, especially since it's this time of the year. But it wasn't the men's game that interests Pecos Bill. It was their caps. It looked as if those caps kept the sun off the players' faces. Bill bought a cap at the store, and the next day he wore it out on the prairie. The cap kept the sun off his face all right, but that sky fire still burned the back of his neck. Then, when a thunderstorm came up, the rain soaked the cloth cap. Oh, that didn't pan out, thought Pecos Bill. Not one to cash it in after only three tries. Pecos Bill went to the, town, to the town the next day looking for another hat. As he was walking down the main street, he heard a clanging bell. Bill dove out of the way as a horse-drawn fire wagon rushed past him. As he lay there in the dust, Bill could see smoke coming from the livery stable. Livery stable. Pecos Bill whistled up lightning and rode out of town, lickety-split. 
He pulled out his rattlesnake rope, lassoed up a storm cloud, and dragged it to the back of the town. He hogtied the cloud and squeezed it so hard that it gushed rain, dousing the, the flames. The volunteer firefighters were so happy that they made Pecos Bill an honorary member of the fire brigade and gave him his very own metal fireman. I reckon this might be just what I need, said Bill. While the back brim of the helmet shaded his neck, the metal got hotter and hotter in the sun. By noon, Pecos Bill took off the helmet and wrapped a wet bandana around his neck, around his head. No one, uh, not one to skedaddle after four tries, Pegasus Bill sat on his bedroll that night figuring out, figuring about hats. The baseball cap only shaded my face and it didn't keep me dry. The fire helmet shaded my neck, but it got too hot. And then lightning bent down and pushed the two hats together. That gave Bill an idea. Wait a minute! What if I made a hat with a wide brim, like a baseball cap, to shade my neck? Uh, no, wait. What if I had made a hat with a wide brim, like a baseball cap, to shade my neck, and a high crown, like a firefighter helmet, to shade the rain, and in, and in waterproof fabric, so it wouldn't get too hot? Pegasus Bill patted his stallion's neck. Lightning, you're a genius. Yes, he's a genius. Now, most people know that Pecos Bill was the most famous cowboy in the world, but few people realize that he was also an expert tailor. Pecos Bill bought some beaver felt in town, and using his baseball cap and firefighter helmet as models, he sewed and pressed the very first 10-gallon hat. After that, Pecos Bill would carry his own shade whenever he want. He went, and it when it rained, the water just rolled off the crown and over the brim, leaving Pecos Bill's head nice and dry. What's more, it made a handy bowl. When other cowboys saw how useful Pecos Bill's invention was, they gave a big yee-haw and ordered some of their own. Pretty soon, even the brand new Greenhorn Cowboys were wearing them. I'm telling you, that's the way it was. That's the way it is. And that's the way the story will end. And of course, we're talking about cowboy hats and cowboy gears. So here's a cowboy hat and bandanas and chaps and cowboy boots. Cowboy hat. Cowboy hat gives a cowboy shade on the treeless prairie. Rain dry, drains off the front and the back of the hat, keeping a cowboy dry. He can also use it like a bowl to give water to the horse or as a wash out, a wash basin out of the out on the prairie. A bandana. Cowboys pull bandanas over their mouths during dust storms or when they are getting or when they are riding behind cattle that are picking up dirt. We can also wear bandanas as face masks right now for the corona. Chaps, their thick leather chaps protect a cowboy's legs from the thorny bushes and sharp, and sharp cow horns as he rides in the prairie and chaparral. Cowboy boots, cowboy boots are high to keep, uh, are high to keep pebbles out. They have pointed toes and tall heels to help them fit into the horse's saddle stirrups. Thanks, guys.